Sora continued his journey in search of Riku and Mickey, and found himself at Castle Oblivion. Using cards made from memories of the worlds they'd visited, the group continued deeper into the castle. Meanwhile, Riku awoke beneath the castle and was met by a mysterious voice. With Sora headed for the top floor, and Riku aiming for the ground floor, the two continued to climb, each on their own path. As Sora advanced through the castle, his memories started to fade. In exchange, new memories of Naminé grew clearer. It quickly became his goal to save her from where she was being held captive in the castle. Meanwhile, Riku was fighting the darkness within himself as he continued through the castle. Lying in wait to confront him was a boy who looked just like him, a replica of himself created by the organization. This replica was planted with false memories that caused him to stand in Sora's way.
Namine had the power to overwrite the memories of Sora and those connected to him. The organization used this power for their own gain. Even after discovering the shocking truth that his memories of Namine were fake, Sora still chose to protect her. He prepared for the final battle, eager to finally retrieve his lost memories. The battle at Castle Oblivion came to an end. To regain his memories, Sora would have to forget all about Namine. He fell into a deep sleep, but not before leaving himself a reminder to thank her when he woke up. Meanwhile, Zexion decided that Riku had outlived his usefulness. From within a shroud of magic, Riku heard Namine. Riku accepted the power of darkness without fear, and he used it to defeat both Zexion and the replica of himself. Namine offered to use her powers to lock away the darkness in Riku's heart for good, but he refused, choosing instead to wield its power as his own. Riku and Mickey set out from Castle Oblivion, continuing along the path where darkness lies hidden within light, the road to dawn. <laughs> 